I think it's safe to say that for the vast majority of adults, having a healthy libido is vital to a happy life. How about for those who are not in an active sexual relationship? You may ask. A robust libido is not just great for sex. It plays an important role in our mental health, fuels creativity and passion, and can make you feel younger and more alive, even in our later years. There are a number of lifestyle factors that affect libido, your sex and health. And many of the choices you make on a daily basis can either stroke the fire or douse the flames. Here's how to stroke the fire to keep the passion flowing in the relationship. Focus on your diet. What we eat plays a huge role in our lust for life and for each other. Eat clean. Cutting out refined sugars and processed foods, loading up on veggies and whole foods, sourcing quality protein, and choosing heart healthy fats will benefit your health, mood, and sex drive in a numerous amount of ways. Even when, how much, and how often we eat can affect our libido. Clean eating improves cardiovascular health. Better blood flow to various parts of the bodies involved in sexual arousal. Enough said. There are also a number of foods that affect the balance of sex hormones in men and women, directly impact our energy levels, and that therefore play an important part in healthy sexual energy and performance. Stroke the fire by eating some of these good foods. Good quality grass-fed beef in moderation, wild salmon and tuna, oysters, nuts and seeds, especially walnuts, pumpkin, and chia seeds, watermelon, organic apples, and garlic. Avocados, warm and spices like ginger and chili peppers, oats, and dark chocolate. Now the foods I'm going to tell you about right now are foods that you definitely should stay away from. They'll douse the flames in your relationship and they'll lower your libido. Stay away from sugar and refined carbohydrates, heavily processed foods, diet sodas, bottled water, soy products, licorice, mint, flax seeds, and also certain medications, particularly antidepressants and birth control, can definitely lower your libido. Now, if you want to increase your libido and have an active sex life, exercise and also focus on your body weight. Getting regular exercise will help boost your libido in a number of ways. For starters, exercise improves our overall heart and cardiovascular health, which is directly linked to improved stamina and blood flow for the bedroom activities. Along with a clean and healthy diet, it can also help to reduce excess body fat, which physically frees up to enjoy other physical activities with more ease. And because excess fat disrupts the healthy balance of hormones, including those involved in sexual health, anything that maintains a healthy body weight will go a long way towards helping you maintain a healthy libido. But there are also positive benefits of exercise on our mood and overall self-confidence, both of which can significantly impact our sexual desire. It also improves our mental health, making us feel happier and more confident both in and outside the bedroom. Now make sure if you want to stroke the fires that you get frequent physical activity in your daily lifestyle. Also, that helps a lot of people is exercising with their partner. Another thing to help keep your libido up and to help rekindle your relationship and get the passion flowing is sleep and stress. Reducing stress and getting a good night's sleep is not just important for our mental and physical health. 
it turns out that it also may weigh heavily on our ability to feel sexual desire, particularly for women. According to the author and psychology professor, Lori Mintz, a lack of sleep coupled with increased stress has the effect of decreasing testosterone, a hormone that plays a major role in the libido for both men and women. Since men have a naturally higher level of the hormone, women will feel the side effects of a decrease more than their male counterparts. So make sure, if you're not getting enough of sleep, that you make some changes in your lifestyle. Make sure you get regular, good quality sleep. And I guarantee you'll feel a difference in your libido. We all know by now that smoking negatively impacts our cardiovascular health, which in turn wreak havoc with our blood flow and sexual stamina. But nicotine can also mess with the hormonal balance and decrease levels of testosterone in the body. Lower levels of testosterone equals lower levels of sexual desire in both men and women. For men, smoking cigarettes is a double whammy. Decreased sexual desire and an increased risk of impotence. So, you may want to consider, if you're a smoker, to consider stop smoking cigarettes. A small quantity of alcohol can help us in the bedroom by making us feel more relaxed and in the moment. But in larger amounts, it does the exact opposites. When we drink too much, really anything more than one or two servings, alcohol can cause poor erectile functioning and also dehydrates a woman's vagina, making sex uncomfortable or even painful. Being drunk also prevents us from really understanding or responding to our partner's sexual and emotional signals. So if you really want to stroke the fire and you're in the mood for a little alcohol, consider a glass of red or white wine. But if you really want to douse the flame, you're going to drink two or more servings of alcohol, especially beer. But don't expect a good sex night because it's going to definitely lower your libido. Now there are a lot of herbs and supplements on the market that can actually help rekindle your relationship, put some passion back into your relationship, and actually increase your libido and make your sex life better than ever. Sometimes life factors outside our immediate control can dampen our ability to feel aroused and suppress our libido. Menopause, oh God, don't even go there. Our hormonal imbalances and chronic illness can all wreak havoc with our libido, leaving us feeling less than lusty and passionate. There are a number of safe and natural options for herbs and supplements that can help us to balance our hormones, improve circulation to the sexual orga organs, and increase libido and sexual desire. Some of that might be worth investigating. If your libido needs a little outside help, you may want to actually consider some of these herbs and supplements. Horny goat weed, maca, red clover, iron, tubulus, L-argondian, Damiana. Also, this is a biggie for a lot of people. Spending too much time on the social media and watching too much television can have an enormous effect on our sexual energy and relationships. Aside from the time wasted on either as a form of passive entertainment, which could also be put to better use by exercising or connecting with your partner, Media also has a profound influence on the ways in which we view sexuality, our bodies, and our partners. If the quality of your sources is poor or even outright damaging, such as porn, sitcoms, or judgmental talk shows, you may want to rethink your entertainment choices. Here's an idea to stroke the fire. Unplug and spend more time with your partner also, remember that poor quality media 
such as porn, social media, and television can really dampen a relationship. Now this is a biggie, intimacy and communication. Where there is a fear of judgment or criticism, or when we feel closed and disconnected from ourselves, our passions and our partners, our sexual desire can shut down almost entirely. When we feel comfortable with ourselves and with being vulnerable and open in our relationships, we naturally desire greater physical and emotional intimacy. Intimacy is something that can be practiced and exercised, just like our muscles. Learn to accept and appreciate yourself and your partner, practicing open and nonviolent communication, letting go of judgment and criticism, and being vulnerable within your relationship are always ways to build intimacy and increase your feelings of sexual desire. There are also physical practices that will help to build intimacy and increase desire, such as breathing exercises, tantra, sensual massages, and eye glazing. Even something as simple as setting the stage by lighting candles, scenting the air, or choosing a sexy soundtrack that can make your libido sing. So remember, if you really want to rekindle your relationship and bring passion back, set the stage, build intimacy with communication, sensual touch, and vulnerability. And stay away from judging and criticizing and disconnection. Those are the worst things you can do, and those will destroy a relationship. I hope you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear your comments, so don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box. And if you enjoyed this video, also don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel as we continuously put new videos on each day about sex, marriage, relationships, overall health and improving it naturally, different recipes so you can make in the kitchen that are easy and quick, also fitness, different exercises, meditation, and yoga, and much, much more. So subscribe to our channel, and we hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.